situations um, and uh, kids are really flying around. It's uh, evident uh, uh, how well they're competing. On the injury front, um, Jakari Godfrey, we had to pull for a groin. Pulled knee with a little bit of a sore knee just to be preventative. And then uh, Bernard Shermer uh, with a uh, stinger um, we pulled. And uh, we'll get an MRI and see what's going on there. With that, I'll take any questions that you got. What did you think of uh, Trayvon Sidney today? Oh, mercy. Made some good plays. You know, we're, the two things that I asked our team to do was, one, understand the situational football that we're installing for game plan-wise, but two, understand that depth charts are being made at the end of the week. And uh, this is your last time to produce uh, great tape. And Trayvon uh, definitely took that to heart and stepped up and made made some really nice plays today. One better one hand, perhaps, that I've seen. I know he works it all the time that <laughs> came through there. What happened with YK? Hmm? What happened with, yeah, YK? Uh, I just got upset. Yeah, I'm going there and visit with him here in a little bit. Where do you see kind of him and, and Bubba fighting for that like safety spot? Uh, they were both working one with the one group. Um, and uh, right now you really got the you got three on each side. You got Bubba and YK and uh, Talano on one side, and you've got uh, Marvell and uh, Isaiah and uh, Chris Pollard on, on the other. You really got three, uh, three at each side that could go in at any time. Uh, we're very fortunate right now to be deep at that position um, and uh, got some good experience. Obviously, YK has played before, Marvell has played for, before, and we've got some quality youth stepping up. So I know uh, Clancy's got uh, Bubba and YK rolling with the ones. Talanoa's handling the twos. And uh, um, on the other side, obviously, Marvell has established himself. Uh, but Isaiah's made some great strides. Uh, and CJ has two where if they're called to go in the game, I have no issue. Those six kids are doing a great job. Where have you seen Bubba progress this camp? Uh, probably his knowledge of the system. You know, we always knew him as a, a great uh, a great. Uh, athlete and a guy that doesn't mind hitting um, is very physical uh, and he showed that on special teams last year and you know now with uh, a, a spring camp and, a, and another fall training camp his knowledge of the system has really grown and you can see now him communicating what it used to be just Marvell you know making the calls um, now he's being a communicator and with motions and shifts so it's good to see you know second year in the program that's what you expect from the kid. Do you like uh, what you see from Cam uh, these last couple practices now that he's back? Cam Smith, yeah, he's he's just one of those guys that you know what you're getting every day. He's uh, uh, just constant uh, leadership and constant production. Um, that's that's why he's a captain. You know, you know what you're getting from him each and every day. What's he? He's two thirty three now. Like he dropped twenty pounds this offseason. Um, like he's in the thing? he's in the best shape of his life. He, you know, he's always fluctuated. You know, I always go back to that wrestler mentality. He's always had, he's been able to be two twenty or two fifty at any time, and uh, he feels really comfortable. I think at the two thirty five range. Um, you know, obviously you're going to shed a little bit through camp. I think all of us have, have lost a little weight uh, in camp, and that that happens when you're when you're three weeks into it. But uh, around two thirty five, he's playing really good ball, looks very mobile. What do you think of the overall kind of chippiness today? Awesome. Absolutely. It made it fun, didn't it? it, made, it, it we talked to it yesterday about how we want it to be competitive um, and not be lackadaisical practices, but you have to let kids compete. And when you do that, then hopefully Saturdays become really easy. Um, because when when you got a Michael Pittman going against a Biggie Marshall, I mean, that's a special matchup. And obviously there's going to be chippiness. Uh, they're both big personalities and very talented people, and as well as several other guys out here. That's why I told the guys, you want to be right there on the edge where you know you're competing at the heart, at the highest level, uh, but still staying disciplined within your fundamental and your assignment, and making sure that you don't get penalties. Um, and you know, when when you go 21 days, three weeks of being against each other, there's going to be some. I mean, that's that's just grown men practice, and that happens in every camp in the country. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll control it. And they do a good job. They know that if the two of them get in it, you saw the other one's come and pull them away. Because if they all get in it, they know they're getting up down until I get tired. Uh, so they, they try to separate it as fast as they can because they know I'm good if, if they get a little chippy together. But uh, if it, when it becomes a group, then I'll, I'll jump in and they don't want that. If you hadn't seen that develop and see the big scrum, 
Are you not surprised at who's on the bottom when, when they pull them apart? <laughs> no, I'm not surprised. Uh, there's, there's some guys that, uh, some of the best I, I, players I've ever been around were the nicest men off the field I've ever met. And, and uh, you know, the guys that wanted to take your heart out when they were on the field. Robert Woods is one of the nicest gentlemen you'll ever meet off the field. Uh, but when he stepped on this field, he, he, want, he wanted to absolutely rip your heart out. And, uh, um, there's a lot of guys like this on this field, and that's a good thing. It produces a good football team. Where have you seen John Houston develop since he kind of took over that role just last year? Um, just, I think, just being comfortable besides beside Cam right now, um, and you know his athleticism to be able to cover the boundary slot if they're in, you know, four wides is evident. You know, he's he's a little heavier, but he's kept his athleticism which is really good and is needed for the position. The other thing that I see too is him on, on pressure downs when Clancy's calling pressure, he's really found a way to get skinny and get slippery in there on back. So he's really doing a nice job in pressure situations and Clancy's bringing them a bunch. So it's, um, it's good to see. He's really become a polished player now as a junior. I can't believe he's a junior. I felt like I blinked my eyes and he was a freshman, but now as a junior, he's, he's playing exceptional football, high level. One more. Yeah, it looks like the quarterbacks got a lot more team reps, seven on seven reps today. Was that part of the plan for the evaluation? Say it one more time. The, uh, the amount of reps today for the quarterbacks seems like they got a lot more than some of the other practices. Is that part of the plan? Yeah, the well, I, and, and the situation is third downs. And so we, we did a lot of third and long situations, plus we want to work pass protection. Usually Tuesdays, because of the full pads, were heavy run emphasis, and then Wednesdays were heavy pass protection and pass emphasis because of the third down situation. So probably more situational. Uh, it's good for us. It was a great evaluation day for us on tape, but uh, that's going to probably be every Wednesday. All right. Thanks, guys.